and I screwed it up. <laughs> Eventually, my world would begin to fall apart there. I knew the way that I thought had changed, but I did not understand why. I'd be placed on an R&R &R flight before a medical evaluation and sent back to America. Once I got back to America, I would become lost in a very chaotic and busy system. I'd like to take credit for that system. The VA is not a bad place. The VA is a very overwhelmed system. I'd like to say that's because of me. Patients that we used to see in World War I, World War II, Vietnam, died on the battlefield. Medicine has come a long way. The soldiers that used to die on the battlefield are now coming home. So yeah, when I call the VA and can't get a doctor's appointment because there's too many people, they say it's gonna be three months or however long, that's all right, because I caused the problem. Because we saved lives. And that makes a difference. I would uh, fall through the cracks. Eventually, uh, I'd be found. I'd spend about six months in the hospital, then do 18 months of rehab there at Fort Benning as a wounded warrior. I would return home stay a couple of months, end up with an infection, back in the hospital, another four weeks. At the end of that, they give me an option of either uh, home health or a nursing home. At 37 years old, nursing home really did not seem appealing. I don't know what you know about home health, but it's kind of like trying to prepare to run the Iron Man using a bathtub, a treadmill, and a stationary bike. <laughs> Ultimately, I would, uh, I would, uh, I would, would get accepted to a program at Shepherd Center, and it absolutely changed my life. Shepherd runs a a program for wounded soldiers with traumatic brain injuries that is comparable to none. I would go there and spend seven months inpatient and another 14 months outpatient. You want to know how kind of program Shepherd runs? They came to me, they asked me one time, they said, uh, would, would you like to, uh, would you like to learn to scuba dive? Heck, who wouldn't, you know? Yeah. Shepard knows how to teach scuba lessons. Learned how to scuba dive at the Georgia Aquarium in the whale shark tank with another soldier, and Jeff Corwin was my dive instructor. That's a program. <laughs> I uh, would get out of Shepard's program and return home look for a place to go. I would begin to help out at the fire department. I would return to paramedic school. I have to sit back through a year of that, retest, and once again become a paramedic in the state of Georgia. I tell you that to say, there are a lot of places and a lot of jobs that I could have chosen but there is no job in the whole world that I could have chosen where I got to do some of the absolutely wild, coolest stuff in the whole wide world that I got to do in the United States military. And I appreciate all those who have came before me and served, and I appreciate those who plan to come after me and serve. Thank you.
ladies and gentlemen, I present Miss Neil Crawford and the Blue and Gordon Central Blue Wave Band. This concludes our ceremony. We ask that the students please remain in their seats as the veterans retire to room 301 for our reception. <laughs>